Alrighty. Welcome back to some more Zenless Zonas Zeris. I have reached level 34 now. So that means we continue on with the main story. And that's exactly what we're going to do after doing our daddies. Getting this stuff. Where's puppy? Sorry, puppy. I have to wake you up. I got meat. Give me a coffee. I actually haven't had Hello coffee in the longest time. Mm. I realize. Was it because Sometimes it makes me want to go to the bathroom? Can help you go further. I'm pretty sure I'm lactose intolerant. Well, I'm lactose intolerant enough that I can't just straight up drink milk. I can eat ice cream and stuff and cheese and I won't get, you know, blah, 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 blah. but if it's just straight up milk, like from the titty, then I'm going to be in the bathroom for a good long while. Multiple times a day. Multiple times for that day. It ain't going to be pretty. All right. Then. New message from Elfie. Every tune is waiting to be heard and savored. Bardic Nito's collection and services have been upgraded, now offering more custom tunes. Can't wait for your visit. Did you just change your tune? It's because, well, it's a secret. No need to spill it out right away. In short, it'll help with that thing. Drop by when you can. Okay. Well, first, I gotta go 9-9. You know, so I hit them with a nine nine. I also leveled up, but like I'm level thirty five now. Notice is I want to clear out all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, baby. Let us go, Betty. Bye. Beep beep. We got a text. How's your math proxy? Um, good enough. Never mind. I've done the math over and over again, and it won't change no matter what does it. No matter who does it. What are you doing math for so late? That's nothing, proxy. Sorry for bothering you. Good night. Back in bed now. What does Amby calculating? The cutting hair's revenue and expenses, perhaps. And though you feel for NB, you should probably ask tomorrow to make sure it's, it isn't another one of Nicole's new tricks to leave her bill unsettled. But what if the cutting hairs are really struggling? No, why would you even think that? That's why you let Nicole owe you so much money. I mean... I let her owe me money. Slept in without an alarm and it feels great. Time to get up and talk to Bella about Ambi. Well, Hanby's DM from yesterday, I guess I could just ignore it. But the cunning hairs are really in trouble as much as I hate to admit. We'll probably get involved in the end. We'll probably get involved in the end. We should check it out sooner rather than later. I'll just talk to Belle and figure out what to do. Hold on, let me. Let me situate myself a little bit closer to my screen. Yeah. My chair can go up. I look like it. Okay. Is this a uh, wrong one? Yep, it is this one. Okay. Why? Is, why the long face so early in the morning? You tell Belle about Ambie's DM yes last night. Well, I don't think it's one of Nicole's tricks. If Nicole had really asked Ambie to send you those messages, Ambie would have sent you more yesterday. But honestly, I don't think it's a big deal. Ambie will tell us straight away if things are really bad. Well, there's no point in guessing like this. How about we, uh... Why don't you just ask Ambie out and clear things up, wise? Context has been unlocked. Message Ambie to invite her out for a chat. To the contacts in your DMs. On the left, you can see the agents you've added to your contacts. 
On the right, you can see the agent's contact info. You can check your trust level with agents here. Your impressions of agents will be noted here. Let's contact MB now. Are you free today? I'll be free as soon as I finish eating this. What do you have for me, Proxy? I'm on 6th Street now. Yeah, I'll meet you after I finish eating this. I'll come to you. Where are you? I'm at the gadget store. Wait, you can't eat that. I'm coming to you right now. Trust, MB. Oh, yeah. From Venus now. Huh? The commission is done already? And the rating is off the charts. Your progress was much faster than I expected. You never cease to amaze me. Looks like I won't get a chance to use the guide I prepared for the comforting words I had already in case the commission didn't go as planned. I'm just an ordinary rookie. Don't joke with me like that. I've been in this business for ages and I've never seen a novice like you. It must be your incredible skills, not my misjudgment of the difficulty level. Increase stress, increase stress. Okay, sick. What is this? It's a wallpaper. I need to get all of them. I want to get Lou Pipers. I want to see Lucy, but I don't have Lucy. Well, I want to get Lucy's too. All right. Hello, Ambi. Are you trying to eat the gadgets? Hey, you're here too. I'm having a burger. Do you want some? Sure. I'll let you have half of it. This one is tasty and it contains a good balance of protein, carbohydrates, and vegetables. You can wolf it down in a few bites even during a battle. You seem to be a burger expert. Well, I'm just a fan of burgers. We have a discussion with Anby about burgers. She seems to think very highly of the food. Burger consumption complete. If you don't mind, I've got some work to do. What work is that? It's an important task Nicole assigned to me. Speaking of which, there's something I'd like to ask you. How are your finances at the store? Uh, not bad. We turn a small profit. Hmm, so you can make money running your own store after all. Seems that Anby is deep in thought. Are you trying to open a store? I've been going over last month's accounts for the Cunning Harris. It's better than before, but we're still in the red. Isn't Nicole always saying she wants to reduce her expenses? I was under the impression Nicole is always talking about reducing expenses. Yes. She says she wants to cut back on expenses, and she's very disciplined. Since she's mentioned it, she won't stop talking about it. Need some advice on how to improve your business? Do you need some advice on how to improve your business? It's okay. I trust Nicole. Under her management, the cunning hairs are going to turn a profit one day. The darkest hour is just before the dawn. That's what I think anyway. Thanks for worrying about us though. Contact me if there's anything I can do to help you. Ready. Hopefully we'll have a smaller deficit next month. <coughs> trust rank up, yay. How do I bring up my messages again? Uh, was there a quick thing for the messages? Is it X? No. There you go. What was that? No, that's that's mail. Do I even have a quick thing for my messages? Let me put. Well, I. I don't really need storage. I'll be honest. I could put. I can't even put messages. Huh. Oh, is that one? No, it's not. I have to go in here then. DMs. Oh my god, all these people. <laughs> Go home and talk to Bell. You're back. How did it go? Did you see Envy? 
tell Belle what happened when you when I talked to Envy. Well, as I expected, it's not a big problem. But isn't a deficit every month a big deal? Maybe it is for regular people, but this is Nicole we're talking about. Look, Envy also said the landlord wouldn't kick them out even if they can't pay the rent. Well, Nicole owes us tons of Denny's and we can't really do anything about it either. Seriously, how come Nicole always attracts people that can tolerate her never paying back her debts? Could it be? Are we all just her carefully chosen victims? Maybe it's just because there are so many kind-hearted people around. Why does that sound so sad when it's actually a good thing to say? Anyway, it's good news that the cunning hairs aren't tangled up in new trouble. At least Nicole's debts, debts won't continue to grow for now. You can invite agents daily through the contacts interface, completing agent invitations with significant increased trust levels. Consecutive invitations will cause agents to show up on the streets more often. Upon reaching a certain trust level, an agent will initiate an advancement task. Completing this task will yield extra rewards. Stick. I remember Belle asked me to visit her when I had some free time. Can she arrange some errands for me? Well, I am pretty free today, so I should head home and ask her what's up. I am home right now. Oh, look, Eddie. That guy was so handsome. He looked like a celebrity. Our manager scared me. Were you flirting with someone, Hetty? Hmm? And no, he just came to ask me something about a specific videotape. As the promoter, I told him everything about it and recommended the tape with enthusiasm. So he took the tape over to 18 to pay and then left. Hmm, I feel somewhat torn. The thought that I'll see him again when he returns the tape is cheering me up. If he really is a celebrity, I'll ask him to sign the videotape he's in. Maybe it's even one of the new ones for today. Regionally famous. Damn. We even got celebrities coming in. Uh, where did I put it? What are you looking for? Need a hand? Oh, there you are, Wise. I'm looking for the blank videotapes I bought earlier. They told me to tidy up, but now I can't remember where I put them. Huh, I don't know anything about this. Are we busy stocking new items those two days? Anyway, if you're free, let me a hand and help me look. Okay, I'll go look for it right now. I'm about to go into immersive storytelling. You searched all around the house until noon the next day and finally found them under the store counter. Wise, you're back. I've I am. already set up the TV to record. You don't have anything coming up for the next two days, do you? Uh, well, no. Well, no. Why do you ask? Don't give me that. Surely you haven't forgotten what day's coming up? Uh, your birthday? I think I remember now. Thanks for the reminder. You mean Nicole's lawsuit, right? Exactly. Oh. The Vision Demolition case begins proceedings in a couple of days. Our old buddy Nicole is going to be on TV representing the Canvas Street residents in court. Is she going she to go into the courthouse with her booty shorts on? Or is she going to wear a suit? We can take a little credit for ourselves for helping to expose Vision and its conspiracy. I think it's worth putting the trial on tape. That's my bell. That's my bell. Always being proactive. Redo TV is streaming it right now. If you're not doing anything, come watch it with me. Welcome to this special preview of the Vision Demolition Case. I'm reporting to you live Ooh, from the helicopter pad gonna atop Janice Quarters Security Bureau. I like someone's going to try to stop it. I like Charles Perlman, the accused, the cunning hairs representing the citizenry, and others involved in the case. Will, as is typical, travel to the new Eridu Supreme Court to await trial via the special Court of Law airship. Court of Law airship? That's how you do a trial? The court proceedings will be streamed in full, and citizens are encouraged to follow the proceedings from home. Nicole, the airship is almost here, and you still haven't finished packing. And on that note, Nicole, do you really need to pack so many things for court? <laughs> is that a grenade? What do you know? The whole city's following oh, just... this case. In other words, it's a chance for us to make a name for ourselves. <laughs> I don't think she's actually going to wear that suit. So, of course, I want to make sure I'm putting my best and prettiest face forward. I'm not kidding. I even printed off some flyers about us to pass around to potential clients out in the gallery. Oh my god, is that... Is that Nicobata's phone or is that Nicole's phone? I think it's Nicole's phone. Nicole! Yeah. That's your phone! That's Don't such an adorable phone. And it's a flip phone. <laughs> it's adorable. Thank you. <gasps> huh? 
Nicole, what's wrong? N nothing. Uh-uh, don't tell me. It's another debt collection message from one of our loan sharks. How many loan sharks do you have on you, actually? Uh-uh. <laughs> look at it, Nekomata. We don't owe anybody any money these days. Except for Faithen. And those other five loan sharks. Five loan sharks? Why are there more debts than last month? Nicole, what's going on? Who's that message from just now? Uh, huh? What's going on? Who is that? So many messages. And they're all blank. What is happening? She got a stalker? Ugh, I can't take it anymore. Not long later, inside the video we store. We are all likely to be at the center of debate during the trial. Next, we have a special guest. I thought Perlman's crimes were so outrageous that the trial would be a cakewalk. I never thought they would have to debate over every single detail. No wonder Nicole's been so worried about this case. Well, he wants to win as much as he can. Hello. Hello there, proxies. Hey, Nicole, Ambie. What are you two doing here? Nicole, shouldn't you be on your way to catch that airship right now? That was the plan. But I think there's something I need to discuss with you first. Or else I'll be distracted in court. What's going on? What's going on? What do you want to talk about? Faithen, remember how you asked me a while back to help you track down the hacker Rain? And decrypt the Bellabog Heavy Industries memory unit? Yeah. Hang on. Are you telling me your conscience has finally overcome you? And you're here to tell us that you two aren't as close as you claimed? Of course not! You can doubt anything about me, but not my connections. Even if Rain is the hottest new thing on Internet, she will still back me up. It's just some weird stuff's been happening to her recently. She don't want any of the blank messages. I smell some gossip. I think I smell some gossip. Put away your popcorn. <laughs> it's not that simple. Basically, it's just this. Lots of us who are close with Rain, including me, get messages from her every now and then. But they're all blank. So it's more people At than first, you. We didn't think anything of it. But then it continued for a couple of weeks. And worse, apart from these messages, it's like she's disappeared into thin air. And it feels like things are getting worse. She used to send one every few days, max. But she's already sent five or six this morning. Huh. That does sound strange. Fairy, can you take a look? Fairy, can you take a look at these messages from Rain and determine whether they really are Yeah, maybe blank? we could be hiding something. Maybe it just looks blank. Of course, Master. Master. Analysis confirms these messages contain absolutely no additional content really? at all. This is straight up a blank However, message. The sender's location is not encrypted. After analysis, the coordinates show the messages were sent near the Ballet Twins buildings. Hold on. Did you say the b Ballet Twins? Or the Ballet Twins. What's wrong, Nicole? You've gone completely pale. Is there something wrong with that building? You must not care much for urban legends, Proxy. The Ballet Twins are a set of two towers. And <laughs> lately, there have been popular rumors of paranormal events happening there. People say that there's... Quit, be Enough! <clears throat> uh, anyways, fact of the matter is... Oh yeah, two towers Nicole doesn't like ghosts. By a hollow years ago. Ordinary people can't transmit data in and out of the hollows like you two. So how could Rain's messages be coming from there? The ghost. Based on her capabilities, I don't think Fairy would be mistaken. So wise, seeing as how we're in a hurry to find Rain, and since Nicole is so upset by this, what do you say we go over to the Ballet Twins ourselves to take a look? Sounds like a good plan. I agree. There's no way Rain's messages are anything paranormal. What if they are? Nicole, we'll go check on Rain's location, but we'll likely end up in a hollow. Can you lend us and be in the others? Of course. It's not like I'll need them in court anyway. Oh, yeah. This is for you. It might come in handy. Photo of a young girl added to the workbench. Is this how Rain looks like? A photo from Nicole that seems to be a portrait of the hacker Rain. But the girl looks really familiar. You're pretty sure you've seen her before. She came into the video store once. I think so. She does look familiar. Hmm? Hang on. Nicole. The girl carrying the backpack? That's Rain? Huh? Is something wrong? She's our regular, yeah. I've seen her. 
She often comes to our store. Huh. You really can't judge a book by its cover. If you want to talk about hidden identities, doesn't Faith then use the video store the same way? Hmm. Anyway, I'll leave Rain to you because I've got a blimp to catch. Ready. Roxy, <laughs> I'll take Billy and Nekomata with me. Meet us later near the ballet twins. You're okay. Remote transmission from a special client received. Preparing connection. Please get ready as soon as possible. <coughs> Records, we're on chapter three. Strange messages. Give me my my girlies and the buffy. <sighs> we made it. But where are the ballet twins? Just across the river inside the hollow. Did that hacker's message really come from the hollow? <gasps> Wait! Look above the hollow! That's the top of the ballet twins. Oh. So that's it. I'd heard the companion hollow had shrunk recently. Oh. And that's left the top of the building exposed. So that means Nicole got that bizarro message from there, right? Well, at least we would know she's not corrupted, Even maybe. If that's true. What was Rain doing in a place like that? Okay, team. First, let's think of a way we can get ourselves up there. Would you even be able to reach the top of that building through the hollow? Ooh. Impressive. The tinker. This place is cold, huh? You want to feel the cold, Billy? Yeah, it may look a little Where's this ghost? Be careful, everyone. This thick fog in here it may hold danger. <laughs> the... <laughs> Ew, that almost made me jump. <laughs> I don't think we should stick around here. Let's hurry up and find her. Oh, there's something here. Is it ethereal? Entry into target or is it something hollow. else? Ballet twins area confirmed. The ballet buildings were lost to the hollow ages ago. The lights inside don't work. We'll have limited visibility on this route. Careful. Lights off, candles on. Nicole would approve. We're sleeping better. We're saving money. Damn, it's dark in here. Oh, could there have been something past this enemy, though? Damn. What's the last thing here? Oh, okay. Going past the enemy. Oh, yeah. Careful! Enemy up ahead! That's a. Oh, it's coming for us! Looks like a ghost bang boo. Everyone Ooh. okay? This just happens to the beginning? I got careless. I didn't think it'd storm us like that. Are are we back where we started? Let's try to avoid any unusual enemies. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Ooh, we're in the hotel. This or not hotel. I think it's a hotel. I thought it was a hotel, but no, it's we're in the building now. <laughs> Some new scenery. It's sort of a a railway or a train yard or a construction site. Oh, go here. Is that a is that a bang boo with a plunger? On the road. 
Okay. Final wave. Fight him. He's actually went there. Could be up here, right? Huh? It's not there this time. Stay on your toes, everyone. Oh. Oh. Building management terminal here is still operational. I can activate this terminal to reveal nearby areas for exploration. Oh yeah. Did she get the terminal? Ooh, even the lights are back on here. What the heck is that? That thing's still here. It went up though. <sighs> Looks like it's deliberately avoiding the light. Interesting. Is it afraid of the light? Let's switch on a few more terminals and see. The ghost is scared of the light. <laughs> I know your weakness now. Oh. Second me. Okay, that's the other side of that guy. Obtain Bingbu plug, which produces a bright light that can be used to remove identified uh, 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 with Ford Pod. Okay. Wait a minute. There's a flashlight. Really? Hey, manager! Active ether reaction lost. It works, but it really drains power. Oh yeah. Sick nasty. Gotta be careful, I don't wanna run into any any ghoulies, you know? Damn it. Hold your horses. Ah. Remember to avoid enemies. Let me do that. I'm at 90 for my corruption. I didn't mean to go that fast. I was completely on accident. They're gonna go up. I could open all this also. I got the five page view. What's this? You can find. Play the flashlight. Adjacent areas are automatically displayed when exploring the hollow. Hell yeah. Increasing visibility will help us see the enemies earlier. We got another flashlight. Sick. Get this guy out. The enemy is retreating. I feel like that's where I'm supposed to go. What's over here? Oh, hell yeah. Another one. Great! The enemy is retreating. It's gonna take me yeah, it's gonna take me Yeah, this is back up there. Oh, another flashlight? Hell yeah. Alright, gotta take out this guy. Clear out the ethereals real quick. I like how this area looks. Oh god. Okay. 
Is it going visible? It's going visible, it looks like. Or at least, like, they teleport. Go like untargetable. <laughs> Hit him. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. A little bit annoying because they become untargetable. Nice. Another area's lit up. Let's try to turn all the lights on. We can take advantage of their absence. Put it away. Something up here? No. Okay. okay. We go down over here. Gotta be careful. Don't want to run into any of them. Like this guy right here. Great. The enemy is retreating. Look at you on this side. We finally made it through. It's over here, though. Manager, let's get over there pronto. There's another way to go over. Oh, look, we got all the things. Oh, yeah. Sick. Nasty. This place twists and turns like a maze. Plus, it's cold and damp. Way worse than all the other hollows. Oh, I hope the kneecaps I just replaced don't rust. <laughs> I hope you didn't get cheap ingredients, Billy. That's why I stay away from budget restaurants and save my stomach the hassle. Hmm? What's wrong, Envy? Ever since we set foot in here, I feel like someone or something has been watching us. So there are ghosts. Same! I got goosebumps as soon as we got here! <laughs> hey manager, couldn't you tell what was going on in the surrounding area and other hollows? Can you see anything now? It's a little difficult now. I'm sorry, it's a little hard to do now. Not only is this building full of fissures, the hollow data is outdated. We'll need to collect some new data as we explore. Hang on, what's moving over there? Oh god. Ethereals, take them out. No ghosties yet. Bum, 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 bum. Where the heck did these pests come from? I was like fighting them. All these ethereals are making me feel like sick. Max level threat detector. Oh god. Max level threat detector. Oh god. Let me get rid of the ghost guys first. They're annoying. Oh, <laughs> I died quicker than I thought. Ooh. 
We did it. Anby, what you felt. That was the Ethereals, right? <laughs> hmm, not sure, was it? So, manager, where should we go from here? Hang on, let me check. <laughs> I like how much she acts like an actual cat. Oh god. Isn't that belong to uh J J J Ellen? Billy hiding behind her too. You are all very skilled. It's no wonder you're able oh, to walk god. around the building unhindered. But please stop there. A wolf, Byron. The ballet twins are private property and are currently closed to visitors. I will allow you 30 seconds to explain your presence before I decide whether or not. Oh. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> In short, this place is not currently open to the public, and I. <laughs> I'm sure I have stressed. Both the floors and one's weapons should be kept in pristine condition, have I not? Sorry, Mr. Lycon. I'm really sorry. <sighs> so tired. Ellen, stay on task. Professionalism. Coming. Hmm? Corin? Is that you? Huh? Oh, Miss Nikamata. And the investigator. Yeah, we met them. Do you know them? Yes, Mr. Lycon. They're the nice people. Oh, wait, her. Who me out of She's the one that, like, time. broke apart the train. I see. Rena, for now, you may stand down. As you wish. <laughs> Jesus. You... <laughs> You're quite a perceptive young lady. You almost saw me. She means you were way off, way off, way off. If you aren't mere trespassers, that makes things easier. Allow me to introduce ourselves. We are Victoria Housekeeping. Are you housekeeping in an abandoned building? Victoria Housekeeping. Never heard of you. Hey, Ambi. Before I met Corin, I never heard of them either. But you're being so blunt. You'll embarrass them. <laughs> what a considerate young lady. But there's no need. Victoria Housekeeping primarily serves a small number of high net worth individuals in New Eridu and does not aim for popularity amongst the. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I feel like we're being looked down on. But I can't think of a comeback. <laughs> Everyone, please allow me to apologize on behalf of my companions. I am the head of Victoria Housekeeping, Von Lycon. We have been employed by the owners of the Ballet Twins to provide maintenance services here today. The owners? But I heard the Ballet Brothers who built them went bankrupt ages ago. You are correct. The Ballet Twins are indeed in a long-term state of foreclosure. The Lemony and Hollow's activity has waned as of late, and the city administration is interested in eliminating this sub-hollow here. My employer expects the building to appreciate in value, which is why he put down a deposit. Oh boy. Investing in buildings inside a hollow. Is that how rich people... Yeah, I don't know if he's going to make that money back. Well, whatever they're thinking. Thanks to that guy, we got to see Corn again. Miss Nakamata, investigator. I'm glad to see you again, too. Hello. What? What are you doing here? This is the master's property. The association shouldn't have any missions here. Uh... Well, you see... Getting messages from somebody here. Corin, the answer's obvious, isn't it? But forget that for now. Do you have anything I can use to kill time? My phone died. I don't think I have... Didn't the Kamada has yarn ball? Wait, Ellen, you said the answer is obvious. You mean... <laughs> she means that our guests aren't really investigators. Huh? Uh, I'm guessing other than Corin, they've all figured out something is up. There is no need to be so wary. Victoria Housekeeping is duty-bound to only our employers. We have no interest in unauthorized personnel within the hollows. And not to mention, you help Corin. Moving forward, if you are willing to be truthful with us, we will do our utmost to assist. Looks like we can stop pretending to be investigators. Well, keeping up the pretense was a real headache anyway. 
I'm actually a proxy. Aside from Rain's true identity as a hacker, you explain to them why you come to the ballet twins. Well, I didn't expect you to be the legendary proxy Faithen. And you're here to look for a missing friend. We have any ideas? Lycon, have you seen anything? Any clues in the building? As much as we'd like to help you. The official carrot provided to us is outdated and is unable to give us an accurate picture of what's going on inside the building. Psst, sorry to interrupt, but we've got a tricky situation right now. Nicole just called. She says she didn't realize until she got to the landing pad that all members of the Cunning Hairs were registered to take the stand. The court requires Billy and the others to attend. Oh my god. I feel like you should have known that. So, we gotta take the airship too? But what about helping the manager look for rain? I apologize for eavesdropping. But I have a proposition. What if the proxy works with us? The proxy is looking willing for someone, to help. And our obsolete hollow data is hindering our work. I believe it would be to our mutual benefit to I'm counting on you guys then. Then I have no objections. Looks like we'll be relying on you. It should be us thanking you. I am certain Victoria Housekeeping's work will go much more smoothly with your assistance. In any case, considering Faithen's reputation. I'm certain our master would be pleased to make your acquaintance. For now, however, getting your friends out of the hollow seems to be the more pressing matter. We can head further into the building together after you finish your business. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Why didn't she figure that out before sending us to the hollow? You know, that feels like a very important thing to remember or to figure out. Why is your back? How's it going? Are the rest of the cunning hairs on their way to the board ship? They'll hurry over as soon as they leave the hollow. All right, but it sounds like they're cutting it close. The airship will pass by ballet twins on its way to the Supreme Court. Team Billy and the rest of them can't board there. Nicole is really something else. I almost had to give up on the whole rain thing today. Luckily, we bumped somebody from. We bumped into somebody from Victoria Housekeeping. We seem pretty pumped, huh? He noticed. I just had a fairy check. The prices at Victoria Housekeeping are insanely high. And joining them on this mission will let us see what kind of high-end service rich people get. They look really professional and really strong. Perfect. Then you won't have to worry in the building. Wise. Nuh uh, I'm not. Really wise? And but on a more serious note, if we maintain our relationship with Victoria Housekeeping, we should be able to greatly expand our access to information, right? We should stop by the ballet twins and officially meet them before heading into the hollow. Aos needs to be checked too. Thanks, wise. Lycon. Master Proxy, this is Lycon from Victoria Housekeeping. We're informed that you will be paying us a visit for Bengbu Maintenance. Victoria Housekeeping will be waiting for you near the sunken courtyard on the other side of the ballet twins. Oh, bye, I'm coming. I cannot. Ballet Twins Road. Whoa. We can see the hollow from there. Jesus. Christ. Oh God, it looks so weird. It looks so freaky, like polygonal. Kind of cool looking, actually. Let me get this. Go talk to Lycon. Hello. Hmm. Are you the proxy known as Phaethon? Pleasure to meet you. You are far too kind. It is us at Victoria Housekeeping who have the pleasure of making your acquaintance. As a partner and esteemed guest of Victoria Housekeeping, we will make every effort to ensure your hollow journey is comfortable and safe. Thanks. Do you know where Aeos is? Rina is currently accompanying your companion, Aeos. It has come to my attention that Master Aeos is feeling uncomfortable in this moist environment. Rina has kindly carried out a deep circuit massage to alleviate fatigue. You'll find them near the sunken courtyard. Corrin has been looking forward to meeting you ever since you saved her. If it's okay with you, could I convince you to stay and chat with her for a while? Sure. I'd also like to meet Corrin. Oh, Corrin will be over the moon when she finds out. Is there anything else you would like to know? Actually, there is something. I am at your service, Master Proxy. Ask about communication protocols. 
You are our esteemed guest, Master Proxy. Our mission is to provide you with the comfort and relaxation of a home-like atmosphere. You need not feel any restraint or burden. Really? Of course. I was just to say something, but think better of it. Um, uh, this is only my personal suggestion, but decline any food Rina offers you. Okay, <laughs> ask about the daily work. Are you inquiring as to the particulars of daily work at Victoria Housekeeping? The nature of our work is entirely dependent upon our client's needs. Like our slogan says, your wish is our command. Should you need anything in the future, Victoria Housekeeping will continue to be at your service. Alright. Should you need it, Lycon is at your disposal. Where's Corin? He's a cutie. You down here? It's over there. There's uh, some stuff that I can get though. <gasps> Leanne, you look almost exactly like Hetty. I need this stuff. I said I have to meet Corin, but let me talk to the other two first. Helen! Huh? Well, tell me your faith and. What? Is that, is that surprising? Well, a little. I expected to be working with someone gloomy. What? But the sight of you makes me feel much better. Anyway, I'm Ellen. Victoria Housekeeping Co. is honored to be of your service to you. Please, uh, please. Uh, I've forgotten the rest, but you get the gist of it. The honor is mine. Well, if you have any questions, you can speak to the boss, Arena. He should be able to help you. Huh, you need anything else? I'd like to continue our conversation. You want to talk? Fine, but today's job was decided last minute, so my energy levels are a little low. It, it all right if I have some candy first? I just say my bingo was strange. Oh, now I remember. Remember when you introduced yourself in that tower? I just thought that bingo looked a little different, but who knew it was possessed by a human? <laughs> kind of make me sound like some kind of evil spirit. Now that makes it sound cool. You're pretty interesting, huh? Helen, why are you working as a maid? What kind of question is that? Why can't I be a maid? <laughs> because you don't seem very enthusiastic. Oh, but looking un unenthusiastic has nothing to do with being a maid, right? If I'm always so full of energy, what will I do if I use up my energy at an important moment? What's with that look? Everything requires energy. That's common knowledge. You like sweets? It's only because they replenish my energy. That's a tiny one replenishes so much. Is that equivalent to liking it? Are you sleeping during biology class? Even I know it's because of sugar. Basic nutrients, you know. Fine, I like it. It's all the same to me. You want one? Here. Don't forget to tell the boss that I served you well. Oh. Dr. Rena. She has more ales. I'm presuming you're the guide. It's nice to meet you. I'm Alexandrina Sebastian. You can call me Rena. Nice. Rena called Ailes Master Ailes. <laughs> That's right. Rena has never met a legendary Bainboo like Master Ailes. You can sync up with a guide and travel to and from the Hollows. You're very knowledgeable and are in pretty good shape after all these years of service. I'm impressed. Yep. Master Ailes is amazing. <laughs> Didn't I praise Ailes enough before? Yes, I know. It's actually all thanks to Wise. Dear Guide, I'm truly touched that you and your sister gave Ale such a warm home after it lost its master. How did you know? Oops, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I was just really moved by how much Master Ailes cares about you two and couldn't help but share my feelings. I hope you don't mind. Seems Rena has tricked me into saying something. <laughs> Please do, don't worry, dear Guide. Your companion Ailes is a loyal friend. I think there's more to you than meets the eye, but Master Eos has never thought to reveal your secrets. After talking with Eos, I'm convinced that Faithin is an excellent business partner. I look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you, Eos. Was there anything else you want to talk to me about? Sure. About your work. As you can see, I'm a maid. It's an interesting profession that grants easy access to the behind the scenes view of glamorous lives. Young politicians in charge of important cases would use internal information to get rich and elevate their social position. After all, who better to confide in than a diligent housemaid who keeps your mouth shut, right? Would a long skirt get in the way of work? I thank you very much for your consideration. When I was learning about maid etiquette from my head mother, 
I was questioning this outfit, but I'm used to wearing it now. Also, it's great for storage. For example, a dessert that'll bring a smile to your face. I'd like to try some vanilla cream, cream scones. Uh, thanks, but I'm not very hungry right now. Like on did say not to eat any of Rita's food. I mean, if you want to try some desserts, feel free to drop by anytime. We pair Eos soon after. Master Eos looks like to be in good shape. Looks like we can go to Ballet Twins as planned. I'm counting on you for the rest of our journey, Master Guide. Talk to Corin. She's so tiny, she's so cute. Invest, I mean, Master Proxy, it's great to finally meet you. Well, it's technically not the first time. It's great to meet you. Please, uh. Great to see you again, Corin. Really? That makes me happy. Uh, no, I sound arrogant saying that in front of you. Please forgive me, Invest, uh, Master Proxy. Sorry, I didn't mention that before. No, Master Proxy, please don't say that. Now that I think about it, it was a misunderstanding on my part. I never said you were an investigator. I am a little curious, though. Why would someone as capable as you want to become a proxy? Uh, it's a secret. I'm sorry, I think I asked something I shouldn't have. No, you're right. Anyway, I don't know how to thank you for saving me before. It really is an honor to work with you now. Is it okay if I keep talking with you? Sure. So what should we talk about? Is your work interesting? Uh, is my work interesting? I haven't really thought about it before. I'm thankful for my job and hope to become a maid who can work independently, but I keep making mistakes at work. The last time I worked on a job, I got lost in a hollow, and this time I, was, I caused all this commotion when Mr. Lycon was speaking. Judging by the result, I'd see you helped a lot. That was nothing. I didn't do much. But now that you mention it, I don't feel so bad about everything and now. Now. Miss Rena often says that we need to be proactive when thinking about problems. As a maid, we should wear a smile regardless of the problems we encounter. Exactly. You got this. Thank you, Master Proxy. Which team are you most compatible with? Huh? Uh, that's a dangerous question. Just like asking which parent would you save if they were both drowning or... Why would you send the tram left to right? I really couldn't tell. In front of Victoria, housekeeping is very important to me. Which teammate are you least compatible with? Uh, this question is scarier than the one you just asked. Do I have to give you an answer? Stop messing with it. You're <laughs> just teasing Corrin. I probably would have had this chance to talk with you, Master Proxy. Like after me when we're in the hollow. She's so adorable. At this moment, your phone starts ringing. Hey, Wise. How's it going? Have you met up with Victoria Housekeeping yet? Yeah. We just met up. Good timing. I just met up with them. Hmm. I'm a little jealous you got to chat with them. Okay, all jokes aside, we need to find Rain. Hurry back so we can get ready to enter the hollow. Alrighty. Oh, I had to go to this first. I like the music here. Building. At this moment in the Janus Quarter, on the helipad on top of a public security building. And the, uh, the others are so slow. If they mess up now, the media will sensationalize it. Also, she decided to wear booty shorts. Ah, they're coming out. They're coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, moments ago, the defendant in this case, Charles Perlman, arrived at the helipad escorted by authorities. Shockingly, despite the crimes he's being charged with, Perlman shows no signs of being worried. Huh. Fools. A real surprise is yet to come. I accept your request. I'll put the instructions in your suitcase for the day you board. Open it two hours after takeoff. Do what the instructions say, and someone will help you get out of New Eridu. Hey, where's my suit for court? Did the suitcase come? It's right here. Good, bring it over. What are you so smug about? It's about to hit the fan, Pearlman. Hit the fan? <laughs> Young lady, you've no idea how horrible this city can get. <laughs> Just you wait. Whatever tricks you have up your sleeve, I'll make sure you get what's coming to you. Boss! <laughs> yeah, they're there. Great. You guys finally made it. <sighs> I'm beat. You're running for so long. How come you look fine, Billy? <laughs> the 
the respiratory module I swapped out a few days ago has an anaerobic mode installed. It boosts energy efficiency <laughs> during workouts. <laughs> hmm? Oh no. I can't switch back to intake mode. I told you not to use that cheap black market junk. All right, cut it out. Does it really matter if Billy can't breathe? The <laughs> airship is small anyway, and the air quality isn't great. <laughs> Billy can't breathe. What's wrong, Anby? Something bothering you? I was just thinking. We left Faith into a group of strangers from a housekeeping company. Is that really okay? What is he doing? Is he smacking himself? We'll come out a new one of them, right? And besides, the ballet twins belongs to their masters, so the proxy shouldn't be in any danger. That's not it. I'm concerned once the proxy works with another squad, they'll notice a significant difference in the quality of service and won't want to work with us again. Yeah, but here's the thing. Victoria housekeeping is really expensive. Even if we we are on good terms with them, it's not like we're going to be able to get their help for free, you know? Don't be silly, Andy. The cutting hairs are first class, I'll have you know. Besides, we have a relationship with Nathan. Those guys, they're completely new. Nothing to worry about. It's going. It's going. What do I feel like what's in that suitcase is a bomb? Uh, Proxy, you there? Do you believe any others make it? Yeah, we made it in the airship right now. We're about to take off soon. Well, I want to apologize. Really sorry for earlier today. I agreed to go look for rain with you, but ended up leaving it to someone else. Nicole, you're apologizing to me? No, 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 I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I suddenly realized we've known each other for so long, and although there have been some ups and downs, it's been a pleasure working with you. <laughs> He's trying to get on a good side because of what Ambie said. Hey, you don't want to jinx anything. No, not at all. Don't be ridiculous. Anyway, I've been really grateful to you all. I'll definitely repay you when we get back. This girl. Alright, let's get back into that hollow. Hmm, I don't believe it. Nicole just thanked us in a DM she just sent. That's weird. Why'd she simply say that? That's kind of ominous. You see some piggies flying in the sky? Let's wait for them to come back and ask. Anyway, I'm going to save these messages of Nicole saying she wants to repay us, just in case she recalls them and denies ever saying it. Why is Victoria Housekeeping just contacted us? They're saying they are ready to leave. From now on, we should also shift our focus back to ballet twins. Alrighty. I'll get my team up and we'll head it up. Oh, well. It's still dark in here. Master Proxy, since your friend was most likely on the rooftop of Tower B, perhaps that should be our first destination? Thank you, Vincent. That's fine with me, Lycon. Thank you for your help. You are quite welcome. You are our most important guest, and your wish is our command. I do hope we can find Miss Rain soon so you and your friends can rest easy. Dear guide, would you be so kind as to look at this map of the ballet twins? A hand drawn blueprint provided by Victoria Housekeeping that clearly outlines the structure of the ballet twins and then the route to the rooftop of Tarby. In corner exchange a knowing glance, claimed that Lycon was the one who drew it. Anything else in the back? Nothing. You can see it through it though, it's pretty simple. So that's our route. We just gotta go up until we go into the crossing and then go back up. Okay. As you can see, we are currently located at the entrance to Tower A, according to our carrot. We'll have to go through the central corridor between the two to get to the other building. Affirmative. The information provided by the agent is accurate. This should be your target location. Okay. Everyone, let's head out. I'll lead the way, everyone. Let's go. We are at your command. Entry into Tower A of the Ballet Twins confirmed. This place still creeps me out, even though I've been here before. Oh, we just gotta make sure we don't get caught by any Based ghosts. Based on our past experiences, let's start heading toward the lights. Let's get going, Master Proxy. Anything? Ooh. 
I don't want to go too fast, yes, yeah, see? So these guys are here again. Remain calm. Let's continue heading towards the lights. Another one? Close, Master Proxy. Okay. This light's not the brightest, but it still drove them away. It's safe to proceed now. Is there anything back here that could have got? No, okay. Nothing back here. I could have gone. <laughs> it's funny when I get a noise. Okay, be careful. Don't want to go too fast. Oh, let's get you there. It appears we've reached the heart of Tower A. You must pass through this door to enter the atrium. The area at the back used to be accessible only to VIPs. Alrighty. We should look around for the verification device to open the door. Oh, found one. Device? Got one out of three. Why can't they just have one? Yeah. I'm saying. The switch is on the other side. Let's not waste our energy here. Anything here that I can get? This place is like a good right there. That's all. It says like a room. Okay. More of them. Oh, yeah. Great. Now, just one more left. Shit. Over here. Why is this all like empty or like lit up already? Pretty it's not gonna come back. Which is on the other side. Let's not waste our energy here. I killed it. Hell yeah. Let's be able to get over here. Hell yeah. Oh, shit, I'm gonna bunch of these monies. Okay. The switch is on the other side. Let's not waste our energy here. Oh. Let's try to keep our distance. Oh. Uh. Let's try to keep our distance. Right over here, but they go up there. I only have two out of the three. I can't go up there. Oh, yeah, no, I can't. The switch is on the other side. Maybe I have to go through here first to kill this guy. Oh, yeah, there's a spring up there. Or is that I have to go? No, I think I have to unlock the thing first, or not get the unlock thing. I have to get all three pieces first to actually use that spring. Come on, go see. On the road. On the road. Hold him. Understood. Ow, ow, stop him. Ow, stop him. I'm gonna call this squad. Oh, that's it. Somehow.
No, mess up again. Ow, stop. Stop it. He's not. Can he not? Damn it. God damn. Could not time those dodges at all. Those projectiles. Why is the light flickering all of a sudden? Oh, what's going on? What a pain. Oh, I thought that was a gate. I'm a dummy. It feels like rich people enjoy making things complicated. <sighs> Precisely why. These guys again? Oh, God. Keep it up, wise. We're almost there. What about the place down there? Oh, my lord. Watch out, everyone. Master, security system access interface detected. Please wait. Connection at 30%. Synchronizing infrared camera view. Are we going to see what these things actually are? Connection at 60%. For starting camera flash. The camera flash. No wonder they disappeared. Fairy, speed it up. For the camera, cameras are commonly found within the ballet twins, and every clear vision, even darker. I'll go. Connection at one hundred percent. System takeover. We just completed. took over the entire building. Okay. Wow, everything's so clear now with the infrared camera. Master, you can call this new feature night vision mode. In this mode, you can move your field of view via the camera. While you're moving, the camera flash can keep enemies at bay. You're amazing, Barry! Wise, try moving around. They're gone! Oh. This feature sure is handy. Oh, yeah. Another door? Let's go check it out. Hold on. Because I can't go through there at all. At least not yet. I need to find a way to get to there. Hazy shadow looms before you. Seems like it can only be discerned clearly using night vision mode. I also notice it's giving off a distinct aura unlike the other ones you ran into before. Master Proxy, judging by this guest's body language, it has no ill intent. It wants to thank us for bringing peace to this area. Okay. Looks like our judgment was correct. It's smooth sailing now. Loading night vision mode return program. Progress 99%. 100%. Loading complete. Let's return to EOS for now. We can reconnect anytime we need. Dick. Okay. Yeah, I don't have enough. Try using night vision mode. Oh, so that's how I do this. I have to go do that, and then I can go through it. Can't collect anything in the night vision mode, but I could do this. Oh yeah. I could like travel through all this. Oh, that takes you all there. Okay, hell yeah. Go back into the proxy. Not to box into AOS. The lights are flickering again. Is it like using too much power? Can handle it. Oh my god, look at all everything I got. Jesus Christ. Sufficient gear coins paid. Authentication successful. Opening valve. 
We gotta take care of this guy. No way around it. We gotta smack some ass. Avoid damaging the facility while eliminating the fury. Uh, Good dodge. <laughs> Don't worry, Corin. He's only giving you a warning. He won't give us your salary. Oh well. Oh, that's what I'm concerned about. I hate these little goddamn lowy guys. Smack him! Hey. I got ulti now. Fuck around again. Okay, good boy. Freeze them all. They're not shooting me again. Oh, stop it here. Stop. Surrounding lights suddenly flicker intensely. Is it just me, or have the lights been flickering a lot on our way over? Oh, is that so? <laughs> what? Why are you saying it like that, Cord? It's happened a few times. Looks like the rumors might be true. What rumors? Huh? What rumors? Oh, you haven't heard, Proxy. <laughs> Alan. What? Was I not supposed to say anything? Plaza's mission brief was so long, I didn't read it. But whatever. Rena's here anyway. If the proxy finds out anything, she'll take care of it. What do you mean, take care of Take care of it? What's that mean? Take care of it? Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Ellen, Corin. Keep talking like that and you're going to give people the wrong idea about Victoria housekeeping. Dear guy, allow me to clarify. Are you familiar with the supernatural rumors regarding the ballet twins? I have heard, yes. I've heard it mentioned. I've heard it mentioned once or twice. The story goes like this. When the ballet twins' buildings were swallowed up by the hollow, a pair of famous dancers, two sisters, died here. Rumor has it that the sisters became the masters of the building and would warn visitors with flickering lights. Now, oh. if those visitors still refuse to leave, the sisters cause a blackout and show up in the darkness to harvest the souls of their visitors. The souls. The story. But recently, someone claimed to have experienced some similar phenomena in the building. Our master be right. letting the rumors spread would inevitably affect the value of the ballet twins. So we were commissioned to investigate the truth under the guise of maintaining the building. Well, that's why you're here. So that's the real reason you're here. Originally, we believed the rumors to be the fabrications of troublemakers, but at the very least, it appears power outages do indeed occur. Well, I mean, it could just be normal power outages. This place hasn't been maintained for a while. But a power outage could pose a problem. Tower B's atrium is fitted with automated fire-resistant partitions. Power failure causes them to instantly close, since finding this rain is our priority. To avoid having our route cut off, we should speed things up. Alrighty. Get through. Wow. Well. Not gonna see shit. Let's turn this on though. Hey. 
I'll throw it over me, buddy. Oh, lights on the what? path nearby. We can see more clearly here. But the atrium is still some distance away. Will the lights here manage to last until then? Hopefully, let's just try to open all the doors again. outage would make this a huge pain. We better hurry. All right, open that up. Anything else I could open up here? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, so go back. There might be. I don't think there's any ghosties anymore. Oh no, the lights are. Hang in there. We'll reach the atrium soon. Oh, they don't go out here. <laughs> I think the flickering's getting worse. Oh no. Oh no. We're in the final stretch now, Master Proxy. Then we gotta take out the ghosties with this. There you go. Yeah, I won't be able to go over there. Get this. Let's right, so look at that. I can turn this on. I don't know what this do, but <laughs> turn it on. All right, it's the finish. Is there really ghosties here? Oh no! Ghost ethereal. We are approaching the atrium. Let's get this over with quickly. He's oh, big boy. Incoming. What? They just. Watch out. Uh. Mm -hmm. Bad I'll take this out. Are you kidding me? Yes, Master. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right in the face. I didn't mean to do that. I'm cruising now. Hey, be careful. Got it. Yeah. The lights are flickering faster. Let's hurry, everyone. All right. You can rely on us to protect you. She's just flying. God damn! Look <laughs> at <laughs> Oh, dandy. Mind your step now, dear. I'll do my best. Getting carried by Rena, alright. <laughs> I love the way the bangles look so much. Oh no! Can I make it? You can bust on the door. Unfortunately, we are a step too late. The automated partition has completely closed. Oh no! We were so close to getting through. Corin, it's a maid's duty to help our guests. You shouldn't look so upset. Any ideas on how to open the door? Do we have any ideas on how to get this door open? There may be a manual switch installed on the partition. One moment, please. Allow me to take a look. 
No need to bother, Rina. It's pretty solid metal, but it shouldn't be a problem for me and Corin to make a hole. Is it really okay to break stuff in here? This sounds straightforward, but isn't the building your employer's property? Would that really be okay? Huh. I didn't expect you to be such a rule-abiding proxy. Well, I'd rather you guys not get in trouble. Master's concern was about the rumor. Besides, who's gonna find out? Reminder. It would be prudent not to cause any structural damage, as the only structure connecting the two buildings. The atrium is in a highly unstable state due to the hollow. Any sizable blow could lead to localized structural changes. Oh, no. After some investigating, I have located the switch on the other side of the corridor. It appears we currently lack the means to get through. I suggest we withdraw and take some time to rest. Victoria Housekeeping will investigate the cause of the blackout, and we will surely find a way through. Yeah, we did it, though. I can't believe it. We rushed over and couldn't pass through the atrium because of the power outage. I don't know why the building's power is out. It can't be because they didn't pay the electric bill, could it? Anyway, after seeing what happened to you and Victor at housekeeping, I... I want to pay last month's electricity bill. I can always count on you. Victoria Housekeeping handles things professionally, and since they're on their employer's property, they should be able to uncover some leads. Victoria has obtained lots of new data on the building's hollow and is currently analyzing it. It might be useful. Well, he should probably rest a bit. Ready. Let's go 9 9. Hong Shu, Hong Shu. You should take a nap to recover your strength before Victoria Housekeeping contacts us. Lie down and doze off. Despite lying in bed, your head is filled with thoughts of the ballet twins and rain. What's up, boys? Can't sleep? As I thought, you're still awake. I could hear you tossing and turning from downstairs. Is our house's soundproofing really that bad? Who told us to use the cheapest floorboards? No wonder we we prepared to be gone for a long time. Relax, wise. Just let Victoria Housekeeping handle the ballet, ballet twins. The best agents we've ever worked with. I you need some rest too. There's too much new data on the building, causing the HED to occasionally freeze while Fairy analyzes it. I'll make some adjustments. And by the way, I put some new videotapes on those shelves. Check them out later if you're interested. But for now, just, just close your eyes and get some rest. I feel better after talking to you. That's good. I'll head back downstairs then. Good night. The Kaleida Agent Story Schoolyard Powerhouse has been recorded. Oh yeah, I got the Kaleida's story quest. I feel a lot calmer now. Let's get some sleep. Look at the Hollowbird's Ballet Twins Day Trip Adventure. Okay. I was always bells tapping it has such intensity, like playing a musical instrument. Listening to the sound makes you feel reassured. While waiting, perhaps I should check out the stuff on the videotape shows or level up my account on internet, like Bell suggested. Reach level 36. Oh, baby. Well, I guess it looks like we're going to be waiting then. Charlotte. Charlotte. Oh, my God. Look how cute she is. Can I take a picture of you? Look at how cute she is. Look at her. So pretty. Yeah, I guess that means that's going to be it for today. Because if I got to level up, then I got to, you know. Do all this stuff. Got a bunch of stuff here. Jesus Christ. Wait, let's do this thing. Cause this is something that I gotta do this for the event. But I haven't done yet. Who we'll put this table here? Are we expanding our services at the store? But Chuck a bell. No, I was just about to tell you. We had some customers saying their playback devices were broken and asked if we could help them with repairs. We handle all the repairs at home anyway. Helping our customers while you're at it shouldn't be a problem, right? If their playback devices stay broken, they won't come in and rent our videotapes. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Let's just think of it as our video store special after-sales service. 
While you and Belle are inspecting the toolbox, a customer who seems to be in need of your after sales service appears. Excuse me, are you the video store manager? I wanted to watch the videos we recorded at the Ballet Twins and I just realized my playback device isn't working. Can you have a look at it for me? Leave it to me. Thank you so much. I actually wants to find out what find out what the white shadow was that was following her the other day. If we fix the playback device, we should find out soon enough. White shadow? Yeah, we went to the Ballet Twins together the other day and she kept telling me there was a silvery white shadow right next to her. I was sure we were the only ones there. Plus, I was wearing this same black outfit that day. Must be your imagination. When did Belle get back to the store? Huh, she left a copy of Do Anything Yourself. What is this book? Have we been using it here as a repair manual? There's playback devices here. Tuning, I guess, just needs to calibrate all the signals, right? Start now. Tune the internal signal of the playback device to repair it. When tuning, the green signal will expand outward. When the green signal goes, okay. Don't worry if the calibration is going well. You can press R to restart. Okay. It's actually going with the music. It's a rhythm game. <laughs> Very sweet. Master, you have it mastered. Simple adjustments. You can now ex complete precise collaboration. really fun <laughs> red signals will become encrypted during transmissions and transmission progress will not be shown on screen this is the one you must use your intuition to judge the timer it takes to reach the signal oh god we got hidden notes So I got an S, so yeah. Us uh, plus ratings. Oh god. The signals will change their speed during transmission. You must pay close attention to the signals changes in speed to accurately declare it. Okay. this one again
These are fun. <laughs> I like how it's like it's just a, it's an actual rhythm game. <laughs> I like it. Oh god. Got a bunch of stuff from it too. <laughs> Jesus. I guess a couple days ago, unlock all of it. Alrighty. I gotta reach level 36, that involves me doing some other stuff, you know? Yeah, I guess with that being said, thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please consider leaving a like it'll be i'll be greatly appreciated and if you want to stick around for more videos to come then consider subscribing i upload every day yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you all next time goodbye